break. Hello, thank you for joining me today. Today I will be going over how to log into the Calib Caliber portal for Villages at the Crossings Homeowners Association. So if you come into Google, uh, I am using Chrome, you should be able to access the portal through Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari, on your phone, on a tablet. Um, any of it should work without any issue. So I am using Chrome. Um, instead of coming into like Google here and typing in villages at the crossing.com, what I would recommend doing, or even www, is not to put it there, but come up here to the top, right up here where it says google.com, and go ahead and put in villages at the crossing.com. This will then push you over to our portal. From here, if you have forgotten your password or username, you would click on forgotten username or password. You have options to reset it by account number and email by your username or um, recover your username by the account number and email. If you are good to go, if you've never logged in, you would click on create login. You would put in your account number uh, and your email that is associated to your account. If you do not have an email on file, this will not work. Um, sometimes you are prompted after you put in your email and you hit submit registration, it asks you for your address, you would put it in. Your unit number is going to be your address. So if your address is 123 Hollywood Drive, the unit number would be 123. And then it may also prompt you to choose the name of who is wanting to register. You would just choose the, the proper name and click submit registration. From there, you'll get a screen that says, hey, you have been emailed. Go to your email, follow that hyperlink. Um, and from there, you would create your username and password, which then you will be redirected to this screen, which is your login. And you would put in your username and your password and click log in. Now from here, you will see on your left-hand side, your balance. Uh, if you have any, any violations or compliance items open, that would show here. Any architectural notifications would also show on the left. If you had any maintenance requests, that would also be over here. Um, anything, that, uh, anything that is outstanding um, would show right over here. Um, on your right hand side, this is select your preferred owner quick view. So if you come into the portal and your favorite thing to do is to see what documents are what, what documents are out there. You can make this your home screen and have documents here. You know, another thing that I really like is the directory. So I'm going to use documents in the directory. If I decide that maybe I don't want to see the directory anymore, I would simply click on this X change my view. If I want to do web, web links, I can have that as well. So now that we're over here, this is pretty much across the board. Um, you are going to have your boardroom, which will have your meeting minutes. So if there are any meeting minutes, it would pop up. Your governing documents, you know, show here. Um, bylaws, declarations, rules and regula uh, regulations, your COI, a plat map, which is going to be the site map. Um, your community does have a site now. Um, and then, you know, any forms, an online payment guide. This will walk you through how to make payments through Alliance. Um, and then also it has your financial report for the homeowner. Next, um, down here on the web links, which is something that I like, I'm just going to exit out. Um, down here, you have, if you have a calendar, uh, it'll be, it, it'll pop up. Any utilities, these are going to be some of our like, I guess I'd say like our little Angie's list um, of some vetted vendors that we enjoy. Um, and then also, if you have any neighborhood recommended vendors that would populate here, your online payment guide again. And if you need to request a disclosure package, that link will be here as well and it will push you over to HomeWise. Going across the top here, it's going to be pretty similar to what you see in that preferred quick view, which will have your profile, uh, it'll have your email, if you want to update any of this information, you can do so here. Um, you can also uh, email your portfolio manager um, or your association manager, or you can submit an information sheet request and we can update it on your behalf. 
Um, it has your account. If you want to change your password, you can. If at any time you want to change your username, you are not able to do that. You will need to reach out to us, um, to Landmark Property Services, and we will be able to reset your account on your behalf. Uh, however, you can change your password as you like. You can add any family members, um, and then mail, this all goes to mail, but say I wanted to get my statements by email, I can set this up. So if you're finding that you are not receiving information through email and you're only receiving it through mail, this would be a good place to look. Um, coupons would have to go through mail. Um, and then otherwise with that, um, you can also ask us to check what your mail matrix setup is. Same thing under directory. If you do not want your name to be showing, email, mailing address, et cetera, you can just opt out and then you can um, submit your settings there. So you would just simply just click on, oops, um, just click on, you know, whichever ones you want and then submit your settings. This will have your directory. Um, over here on the left-hand side, it has your owner directory. This is the architectural committee. If you had, um, your board of directors would be over here. And if you had any other committees, they will also show here, which is really nice because then it'll show you their information um, and just directly there. There isn't a way to sort, but you can show, you know, however many items per page. And then that'll give you, you know, again, anything that they have offered um, up that will show in the directory. Again, documents. I know it looks as if there's nothing here. You click on documents, it says no documents available. Look over here on your left-hand side, you will see each of the folders which you can click on and then be able to see uh, the, the, the files that are in that folder. Web links, same thing, just a different view. If you have an ARC request, you would hit submit new request. Select the, select the type. And then from here, this is something, as you see here, please upload the ARC form found by clicking on the documents option on the home screen. Please include any details for your project. So what that means is in your documents, you will have forms and I don't have any on, on here to show, but you have your forms. And if you don't have your ARC uh, form and um, you haven't received it from you know, the board or from your association manager. It lies here, documents, forms, it'll say ARC requests, let me see. Um, so this would say you know, ARC request form. And over on the, on the right-hand side, you can view it or you can download it. You can download that PDF, either um, fill it out, it should be an editable PDF, save it to your computer, and then you can upload it, or you can print it out, fill it out, scan it back to your computer, and then again, submit new request, put in the type, choose your file, and then, um, and then, you know, and then you can move forward. And then from there, it would get submitted and you will see it here. Now, uh, notes happen, um, that would be on your on your association manager side, you know, sometimes the notes, um, they email you or they call you. Um, so they don't always come in here, but they, they should. And it'll, it'll end up telling you everything that um, is happening. So there's that way of doing it. If you have a maintenance request, if, if your association does maintenance requests, again, this is how you would do it. You would just submit a new request. You know, if, in, you know, if there's a common area, clubhouse, whatever it is that's happening. Um, and then you would just put in your description in your issue, uh, and then you would hit submit. Now, sometimes what it'll come up as, um, it might say, it might, it might have a username on there and you're like, who is that? It's just somebody has put in a, um, a maintenance request and it's just showing their username. Um, no one really has the compliance. And I believe you should have your accounts. Actually, I think you do have compliance apart of me. That'll be um, if you do have any violations, this will show here. You have all items that'll give you the historical and then any current items. And then you have your accounting, which will then show you your homeowner ledger and your account history. Now, if you are on the board of directors, you can up here in the top, it has your name and your account information. And here, uh, it, it, you can toggle between owner 
and board. So you go over, you go over to board, you just click on it, and then you'll be able to see, you know, invoices, delinquencies, um, and it gives you it in a nice little snapshot as well. And then to go back, you just click owner. Um, and that is just a quick little overview of how to log in. Well, first, how to get to the Caliber portal, and then how to log in and find a user, or if you need to find your username or your password, you can do that. And then logging in, and then just kind of a walkthrough of, of the test uh, of your Caliber portal. Should you have any other questions, um, feel free to reach out to your association manager. Thank you so much for your time.